What we're going to practice today are the Kahn Ingold Prelog rules. Now, what is this extremely long name? These are the rules for prioritizing groups when we're trying to identify chiral carbons. So if we have a chiral carbon and we're trying to rank stuff as one, two, three, so that we figure out if, whether it's R or S, we use these rules. So we're going to look at the highest atomic number. So that's how we figure out whether something is ranked higher than the other. It's by atomic number. And sometimes it's by the number of attachments it has. So on this first group and this second group, they look very similar, but they have one difference, which is this SH versus this bromine. So how are we going to compare them? Well, we have CH2 in the beginning and CH2 in the beginning. So these are exactly the same. Then we move on to the next carbon right here. And what is it attached to? It's attached to an H2 plus an SH. While here it's attached to an H2 plus a bromine. So we're comparing a hydrogen, a hydrogen in a sulfur group versus a hydrogen, a hydrogen and a bromine. Which one of these has a group that has a higher atomic number? Well, this carbon has a bromine while this carbon has a sulfur. Since this bromine has a high atomic number, this is going to be ranked higher than the other. So we're going to rank this higher than this one. Now, what about this one right here? This is an alkene. So first carbon here only had an hydrogen. So this, let's, let's look at this first carbon right here on this one. We had a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and then another carbon, right? Well, on this one, we have a hydrogen, a carbon, but with a double bond. So if you have a double bond in carbon, it's as if you have another extra carbon. So since this one has hydrogen, hydrogen, and carbon versus a hydrogen, a carbon, and then an extra carbon, this has larger groups on it, so it's going to be ranked higher. Then we have an alkyne. And just like we have with alkene, instead of having a hydrogen and two carbons, now it's one carbon and then the two extra pi bonds. So it's as if it has two other carbons. And actually the same goes for this carbon. When we have, al it's, when we have an alkyne, it's as if this carbon also has three carbon bonds. So this is, these double bonds, these triple bonds, they make a big difference. So, comparing this one to this one, we have this one is better. Now, what about the CH2 and H2? Well, we have a carbon over here that has, that's connected to three carbons. Well, here we have a connection to a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and then a nitrogen. Well, it doesn't matter if we have three carbons here. We have a group that has a higher atomic number. So, this is automatically going to be ranked higher than this one. Now, what about this one? Well, CH2N... Well, right here we have CH2 and then an S, and a sulfur is, has a higher atomic number than nitrogen, so we're going to rank this higher than that. And the same thing goes for CH2, SH2, SH versus CH2Br. Bromine has a higher atomic number, we're going to rank it higher. Now what about this right here? Well, instead of having a carbon as the first attachment, we have an oxygen. And because we have an oxygen as the first attachment, this is going to be ranked higher. Now what about this? First attachment is a sulfur. Sulfur has a higher atomic number, ranked higher. Bromine has a higher atomic number than sulfur, so it's going to be ranked higher. 